Hey, my YT friends and family, this is Sissy coming to you to say, yay, your girl has finished her cash savings challenge. Yes, for 2022, this 2023 will be the third year that I have been doing it. And honey, it feels so good. So I did, as you see this, I did, I don't know if it shows, there we go. Can you see, I did the thousand dollar challenge and I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again and again and again, okay? Until the Lord say, move on to the next one. But anyway, I, I have been doing this for, this is the, this will be, 2023 will be, if the Lord wills, it will be the third year that I have done it. And I'm outside of the bank right now. I am going to take, honey, I'm got to look around and check and see and stuff, but I'm going to take, honey, my money in there and deposit the money. I'm looking around too, y'all. The door locked and I'm right in front of the bank, okay? But anyway, I am going to deposit my funds into my savings account. Hopefully and prayerfully, I could use this for vacation or whatever, okay? One thing I wanted to say about the savings challenge, and you guys, if you go back a few um, videos, you'll see where I had picked up this cute little envelope book, okay? And I had started different savings, okay? Now, we'll go into that in detail about that, but it's really good if you want to challenge yourself to save and to save cash because I also, I save, I save cash, but I save it electronically in the bank, okay? And this way, it was tangible. It was before my hands. I would have to take out a certain amount that's designated for you to take out each pay, and I would have to hold on to it, honey. Put it in this envelope which goes in this binder here okay i would put it in there faithfully faithfully and not touch it now i didn't know how i was going to do because it's something with money i don't know what it is with i should say with cash it comes in my hands and it go out like this to the cash register I don't know what it, it's just money i i don't know what it is you guys but this had told me to, and taught me to be more um intentional intentional about my finances and about what I was doing and what and mindful of what I purchased so if you're looking for a way to save go online and let's see here if I they have let me see go online and they have the saving challenges now you may not want to do this amount or you may want to do more but they do have the saving challenges online the printable um challenges and all you have to do print it off or copy it down whatever you don't have to have a cute little binder like I you know I always like stuff like this but you don't have to do this all you have to do is put it in the envelope or honey in your sock and just continue to save it's good to have money on hand and I have to tell you guys this it worked out really well for me if you go back you'll see the different envelopes and I'll tell you the functions of the different envelopes but the honey the savings challenge that's what I wanted to share with you guys and also on here I gotta shout her out Jersey girl for life I'm thinking I don't know how I started getting into the saving challenge but she had always said because it's good to have cash um, it's good to have cash because I'm a homeowner and I should say my husband and I and we've had to have certain work done on our home and honey some things we had to go out and get okay it wasn't about swiping no uh uh we had the money thanks be to God to, to do it and also last month I had issues with my car and one gentleman came up and he helped me and I was able to bless him with some cash you know so God is just so good now where does Jersey come in she had said for you girls honey for y'all young ladies and my mom always did this she said always keep some cash in your purse 
other than the cash that you're using. And honey, she said keep a hundred in there. So what I did, okay, I've been this hundred is probably a couple of years old. Okay. I have in here, honey, my my hundred. This is my hundred. It's broken down. She said to break it down into 20s or whatever i did it into in 20s you know so if you're somewhere out late you don't have to worry about um having it broke down or anything so anyhow i keep that and it came in handy because i did have to use it but i replenished it but i did have to use it when the, it was a tow truck that came and the gentleman said you know what you're good i'm not going to charge you anything and honey what your girl did i said hey merry christmas you know i was able to bless him with something so i'm just saying honey cash if you're you know what i i'm a good saver but I'm a good saver without seeing it. But when it comes to touching it, your girl had problems, okay? She she be touching it and honey, look, okay? Y'all know, y'all know how I am. So anyway, this has really helped me also um, in with the envelopes, different things that you want to do such as with me, like with license plates and license, we know that time is coming up. Now, if it's in January, you just coming off of that money. But if it's further along in the year, you can just, you know what? Take a little bit of your check. Just take a little bit of money out of your check and put it in the envelope. Let's say you don't cover the entire cost of the license or license plates but you've got a fraction covered and honey a fraction helps better than nothing so i just want to let you guys know that i completed my challenge and i am off to i'm um, starting the challenge because i got paid <laughs> i'm going to start the challenge over again i'm still just doing the thousand dollars is good for me it works for your sister because I don't want to go anything over that or under that because if I miss, I'm the kind of person, you know, honey, OCD that I, I, I'm just like, forget, I'm done, I'm done. So anyhow, with this is something that I can stick to. It's what the Lord gave me and I'm good with it. So you know what? Pray about if you can do it. I don't care how much you make, how less you make. You know what? Like my husband said one time, a friend of ours needed to borrow a hundred dollars and he said, you know what? If the husband has 50, if he would have saved 50 and she would have saved 50, they would have had 100 because that's how much they needed. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying, put you something to look away. You guys take care and be blessed. Bye, guys.